Viva la raza, WB Games fans, and welcome back to another exciting edition of WB All Stars Inside the Ring. This time we're focusing on one of the most beloved match types of all time, the cage match. And I'm back once again with senior designer David Friedland. How you doing, man? Hey, doing great, Aaron. So, we are about to see probably the greatest matchup or match type in WWE All-Stars, the cage match. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Actually, before we even get into that, let's look here. Eddie Guerrero, he's back. How great is this for the fans? Oh, we love having Eddie back. I mean, uh, not everybody who's new to the WWE might remember just how huge this guy was during his time. It's a shame uh, that he's no longer with us, and it's great that we were able to bring him back in this form. And here we have one of his uh, greatest at various times friends and rivals. Uh, I think they were tag team partners at one point, and they were bitter rivals. Absolutely. Yeah, you guys paid a lot of homage to the legends in this game, and especially Absolutely. Eddie Guerrero. I mean, you guys really got his moves and his detail down to the very last detail. And I know uh, he and his family are proud to see see him in this game yeah. like this. It's and just Eddie's, a great thing. Eddie's an unusual character. He, like uh, Rey Mysterio, is an acrobat class. But unlike most acrobats, he is an acrobat-grappler hybrid. So you will see him actually capable of not only doing the high-flying moves, but doing a few grapple chains as well. You may even see the uh, gory special that his grandfather invented in there at some point. <laughs> Let's talk briefly about, for all those you know cage match newbies out there, just, just tell us a little about what is a cage match in WWE All-Stars. In WWE All-Stars, a cage match is as fast-paced and as crazy as all our other modes, but with a different win objective here. The only way to win a cage match is to actually climb out of the ring and successfully escape. And uh, this is not something you're going to just simply do at the beginning of the game. You actually have to damage your opponent pretty severely before we'll even let you attempt it. Gotcha. And how does that exactly work? I climb up the cage and can I just immediately exit or is there some kind of mechanic? There's actually a mechanic. If you try and climb up at the beginning of the match, uh, when your opponent is at you know, better than 50% health, we're just going to drop you right back down. We're going to say, uh-uh, nope. Uh, you can't end this match here. you got to go uh, beat the heck out of your opponent a little more. And I know it's important to stress, you know, people might be thinking, oh, you know, that's not simulation. But look, remember, guys, this is WWE All-Stars. This is fun, over-the-top action, core fighting, arcadey action. That's what we're trying to bring to life here, and I think the cage match really exudes that. Absolutely, way. and, you know, it's, we took uh, liberties with a lot of our match modes here. Obviously, we have uh, no countouts, falls count anywhere in most matches, and in this mode, we, uh, we did what we needed to make cage match a uh, fast-paced action pack mode. I know it's a minor detail, but I thought I'd just point this out. I love how the ropes have that rippling effect when you bounce off of them. Pretty yes, cool. it's a lot of fun, and you'll see uh, as we go on in here that you can actually not only climb the cage, but you can use the cage as a weapon. Not just with uh, normal moves, but you can actually use your character's signature moves to launch an opponent directly into the cage wall and do a lot of damage. <laughs> And especially with the acrobats who are so good at bouncing off exactly. the walls. Exactly. Instead of bouncing off the ropes, they're going to do uh, cage springs in this one. Up. Oh, looks like we've got the three amigos going here. This is Another one of my favorite games in the game. Let me tell you, it's a lot more fun to do it than to have it done to you. <laughs> I think I like that better than the frog splash, to be fully uh, honest. Now we see... Uh, speaking of... <laughs> speaking of the frog splash. Boom. Oh, God. Now, it's Man. important to note, unlike other modes in WWE All-Stars, during a cage match, you cannot knock your opponent out. The only way to win is to escape. Interesting. Now, that being said, a finisher is a great way to stun a guy and keep him on the ground long so you can escape. But you're not going to win the game that way. So no matter how many times I frog splash you, I can't win a cage match until I climb out. Exactly, but once again, it's a great way to set up an escape. Well, you know, that's going to please the simulation fans out there, and even the arcade fans like, and I think that's a fair way to do it. Absolutely. Because it wouldn't be a cage match if not, right? Exactly. <laughs> Another great thing about a cage match, if, if you have a friend who just always loves running out of the ring and you know running around like a chicken with his head cut off, this is a great mode to fight him in because, well, you can't get out of the ring. There's no place for them to run. I think we uh, we saw a little bit of the uh, the cage match uh, mechanics that you're talking there, where you're bouncing off the cage walls and Absolutely. using it to your advantage. You can spring off the side of the cage. You can climb up to the top and jump down. You can pull people off the cage. We have a little bit of a struggle mini game for that. Um, once you actually damage your opponent enough, you're going to see a little bit later. We're going to climb to the top, 
and we're going to have a little mini game to try and get out. And that mini game is going to get easier the more damaged your opponent is. If you get your opponent into the flashing red, the point where you normally pin them or knock them out, uh, you're going to have a much easier time escaping up. Another flop, Frog Splash. God, he is just giving it to Ray. Yep, uh, Guerrero is on fire. Guerrero always was on yeah, fire. You'd almost think uh, Dominic's custody papers were at stake again. So he just decided, I'm not going to get out of the ring. I'm just going to jump 50 feet down. On exactly, the and that's vintage WWE right there. <laughs> How many times have people given up victory in order to get in one more big hit off the top of the ropes? Uh, I think uh, Mankind did a certain thing to The Undertaker. Oh, oh, there we go, gory special. Oh, this is a brutal match for Mysterio. How many signatures and finishers does each character have? Each character in the game has uh, a main finisher and four signature moves called from their greatest moves from throughout their WWE careers. Yeah, Sometimes even uh, longer than their WWE careers. So here's the minigame in action. Tell us a little about it. Exactly. So both characters are mashing buttons or shaking sticks. We saw Mysterio threw uh, Guerrero back into the ring there. Didn't look like the minigame lasted too long because these guys need to be weakened a little bit more. Exactly. Well, none of our minigames last too long because this is a fast-paced game and we really don't want to uh, have you spending more time than you need to play in those kind of games. I think that's a perfectly fine, justifiable reason. Exactly. Same reason we don't keep you all on the ground too long. We want to keep the action moving. Well, the action is definitely moving in this. I mean, this is as back and forth between two acrobats as you can get. Exactly. This is a really great matchup uh, featuring two guys with similar and yet uh, divergent styles. I think Ray has the edge on pure high flying here, but Guerrero has uh, the edge on uh, grappling and uh, dirty tricks. I think Guerrero's got some more balls too, jumping off the top of the cage like that. Oh yeah, well, right, let's here see we go who wins again. Oh, Ray's down. I think uh, Guerrero is going to go for the escape here. Love how the camera zooms out when you get to the top there, so you get like a wider perspective. Exactly, and of course you can escape from any side of the cage you want. Gotcha. That's cool. Down nice again. to see no door. You'll see some stars there. Eddie's got uh, one star there. It's not always easy to, to hit this metronome. Some people are better at that than others. Uh, you need to get five stars built up in order to escape. Okay. So if, uh, if your opponent is giving you trouble and keeps uh, pulling you down, uh, try another uh, big move off the cage, stun him, and then climb up again. Do you have a favorite Eddie Guerrero moment of all time, something that just comes back to you? Um, there's so many. The guy is great. But if I had to pick one, uh, there was a match where uh, the referee was down temporarily. As you know, referees are allergic to contact. Any small breeze will knock them down. Yep. And Eddie grabbed a chair, proceeded to slam the chair into the ground, making a nice chair hitting someone sound, and then tossed the chair to his opponent just as the referee was getting up. The referee heard the sound, saw the opponent with the chair, and immediately disqualified the guy. <laughs> Guerrero always was good at the timing. It was also um, the time he uh, loosened the uh, laces on his boots so that uh, he could counter uh, Kurt Angle's ankle lock <laughs> by having his boot come off. Kurt Angle, he was quite the superstar. Oh, yeah. But fortunately, uh, the ankle lock is still uh, well represented in this game uh, by Jack Swagger. Well, it looks like we might be getting to the end here. I think Guerrero yep, I think I saw has four a shot stars to win there. this. How's this going to play out? Oh, at this point, I think this is uh, Guerrero's match to lose. Uh, he's got oh. Ray down there. This should be it. Unless he messes up his minigame. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. There's five stars. I and fly into the max. A victory. Wait. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yep, that can happen. You can uh, get the guy down just at the last minute. Oh, look at that. We've got a uh, nasty little move there. This ought to do it. Come on, Eddie. Pick up the pace. I don't think Ray's getting up from that. Or certainly not up in time. There we go. Viva la raza, ladies and gentlemen. It's your favorite legend of all time, Eddie Guerrero. Getting out of the cage. The steel cage, mastered by Guerrero. Achievement unlocked. Yeah, who's your pappy now, the Mysterio? Our... <laughs> who's your pappy now? Well, Dave, thanks again for being on the show. We appreciate oh, you showing us. Always a pleasure. Us the fantastic steel cage match. And for those of you that want more information on WWE All-Stars, hit up our official website at WWEAllStars.com.